they didn't fit someone's macros. <laughs> No Darcy did it. So the entire Where are we going, bud? We're going to Salas. <laughs> I was going to say the entire focus of this video is going to be about our nutrition throughout this cut and flexible dieting and everything. So let's go. Let's dive into it, bud. <laughs> So usually, most often, we've been trying to pack in a lot of vegetables. Salas allows us to do that. It's a place uh, in Toronto, if you guys want to check it out. So yeah, essentially, this is actually pretty dense. We load up with rice, um, a ton of vegetables, steak, good amount of cheese, so we're getting fats, carbs, proteins, everything. We go through an it fits your macros kind of diet, but we like to try to eat maybe 80 to 90% clean. Sometimes that'll kind of change as things go. I have oatmeal in the morning, and then this is probably the majority of my calories. I won't be left with too many macros for the day. That's okay. I love a big lunch. I feel it kind of fills me up, gets me pushed through the day, and then we're probably going to find some fun foods to have after this. I can get three. So yeah, before we get stuff, we like to log it so we don't suffer consequence and be like, whoops, we screwed up our macros. That's what it fits your macros is all about. It's like a puzzle, so you need to actually know what you're going to be eating and whether it fits your puzzle of protein, carbs, and fats. So we're gonna try to fit as many donuts as possible. <laughs> Donut, donut, donut. Going with the apple fritter and the sprinkle. So usually when we're vaulting, we'd have more fun donuts like this. Or this. That's my favorite right there. But it's like, it's very hard to actually say what that is. Whereas like major brands like Dunkin' Donuts, Tim Hortons, they have apple fritters, sprinkles, and I've had them. So I can actually compare this to that and know it's pretty accurate. We're still at a stage where we can do this. If we're really deep in the cut, we may not be able to do this or we might have to overlog just in case that this is more than anticipated and go by feels at the end of the day. As much as I'd like this scores or these ones with the, uh friggin' the eights on it. I'm just gonna keep it nice and simple. I think I'll go with this glazed. Hey, I still get to enjoy donuts. That's the beauty of it if it fits your macros, right? Like exactly, in a cut. A way to make it work. Like, you don't have to cut out absolutely every fun food. It's not what it's all about, so. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna get. All right, butter. Now we're talking. So good. So the issue we had is we usually get six donuts and it's the same price as four, so we could go ahead and get the six and just say whatever, like we'll eat them later, but realistically we'd end up eating them today, ruining our diet and something even in life, that's a good thing to know. Like let's say you're buying two energy drinks or something like that and it's one for two, one for five, you don't always need to buy bulk items, buy bulk, buy more than you need for just a saving because sometimes it's going to give you more than you actually do need and that can be kind of pointless in itself, like you should really just purchase the things you need unless you are actually anticipating using them in the future, but I'd say that that's a lot less likely than you would think and sometimes getting more can be worse, it's just better at the end of the day, get what you need, it might be a bit more than buying multiple of it, but it's a smarter way to live life. On a side note, right there it says, we love food. <laughs> I don't know. Best donuts here.
get back to work. What are we gonna get, bro? Two chicken pitas, one for each, double chicken. And then we'll get like a big side of fries. And I think that's it. You can have fries on a cut. I am. Ah. The beauty of uh, flexible dieting if it fits your macros. Let's go. <laughs> What's up guys? We had to push this video to another day because those donuts kind of killed their macros. Went home, had two scoops of EHP OxyWay. That finished me off nice, but it's a new day. Uh, we were working in Nando's today. We're happy to be back here. So me and Kyle both need some protein, so we're gonna hit that double chicken. Get some nice fries because we've kind of been missing it. And we're kind of just going to go over everything about if it fits your macros because I know the concept can be super confusing. Yeah, confusing to you guys. So we're going to walk you through it. So to get this started, if you don't know what if it fits your macros is, the kind of the easiest way to explain it is like a puzzle, right? So you'll have your puzzle pieces. Depending on how many calories kind of dictates how big your puzzle is. So if you have not many macros, you're a smaller person, you have a more mess of metabolism, you may have a very small puzzle where you may only have a certain amount of pieces to fit that puzzle, i.e. less food. Whereas if you're a bigger guy like me, you've been training for a while, you have a lot of muscle mass, you can take in more calories, I have a bigger puzzle and I can have more components to fit that puzzle. The deeper you get in the cut, the smaller the puzzle essentially gets, and the less you can fit in these fun and different foods. But all in all, you got to consider that there's basically three major puzzle pieces. You have your proteins, your fats, and your carbs. Proteins are essential for if it fits your macros. You want to make sure you're hitting those above all else. But so long as you're hitting the protein, fat, and carb intakes you have for the day, along with your calories, you'll have a finished puzzle, whether that be from completely clean foods, from eating pop tarts and chicken all day, or whatever it is for you, whether it's a mixture of both, you can live the lifestyle you like, and that's something you can push forward into life. So you don't necessarily have to eat clean every day, whereas now if you're put in a new and different situation, you can eat those foods and still be on track with your diet and goals. And to be completely honest, guys, this is why we love If It Fits Your Macros. Realistically, I know a lot of people, they probably eat one high in sugar, one carby, one bad food, and it throws their day off completely, um, and they get into a bad mindset, and then they go off the deep end. Whereas us, If It Fits it's your macro, if it fits your macro dieters, you could say, realize that it's perfectly fine to be consuming stuff like donuts and stuff so long as you hit the bigger picture like Josh said. So uh, this is something we highly recommend you guys trying out and we'll be putting a big focus on micros and that's the huge thing that you guys need to remember is that it's not all Pop-Tarts. Some of you guys will see on Instagram and stuff, people just posting fun foods. You gotta realize we do eat broccoli, we do eat rice, and we do have a lot of those more bland kind of foods, but it's, um, more so just about hitting the bigger picture and also make sure you're really focusing on those micros as well because I know a lot of people like to miss out on those. To add on to what Kyle said, this is incredible because I'll get a lot of clients coming to me from other coaches where they're in that old school kind of train of thought that if you want to lose weight, you can only have a small amount of carbs, usually through vegetables, and then a protein with each meal. And that's not sustainable whatsoever. And people like that will lose a ton of weight in their first two weeks, but then, like Kyle said, off the deep end, I'll find that there's a lot of binging going on. So when I get clients like that coming from that kind of the complex background where they've struggled because they'll lose weight for two weeks, they'll binge and gain it all back, and I say, whoa, 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 take the foods you like, whether that be cereals, bread, whatever, take the foods you like and make it fit into these numbers I give you. You have complete control of what you're eating and that's why this coaching style is so sustainable. Because these people, all we're doing is changing their numbers for them and they're able to still eat those foods. Of course, when you're in a 
like uh, surplus or you're bulking or you're at the early stages of a cut, you have more freedoms. But when you dive deeper, you do kind of have to dive into those cleaner foods because that helps with food satiety. Food satiety is essentially that the satisfaction you feel with your food. Are you feeling full with your food? You guys will probably find that if you eat desserts all day, you're going to feel kind of sick and queasy and not too full overall. Whereas if you have fibrous foods, protein foods, you're going to find that you get a lot of satiety from foods like that and vegetables. So you have to think of the big picture, but if it's your macros, it's really just freedom from the norm. That like you need to be perfect all the time and you need to eat clean, when that's not sustainable to life. And that's why like, we really recommend logging and starting to try out if it fits your macros and do it in a way that's best for you. If you want to try to keep it as clean as possible, feel free to do so. If you just want to start logging and you've been doing horrible your whole life, try to introduce those clean foods, still have those foods you like and work your way down and that's how you're going to see results and not binge as a result of that. So hopefully this little talk helped you guys out. If you have any questions regarding macros, training, anything like that, uh, make sure to shoot us an email. We'll put like all of our ways that you can contact us somewhere on the screen here. Shoot us a Facebook message, anything like that. We are very happy to help you guys. We really want to make this shred process, bulk process, whatever you guys are doing. Uh, we want to make your life a lot easier and we want to be there with you guys every step of the way. We have a ton of clients that are doing crazy well. Um, so if you guys want to sign up for macro coaching, uh, anything like that, make sure to head to our website, www.colossusfitness.com. Hopefully you guys are staying on this shred with us. Make sure to join us in the next episode, which is going to be episode three. See you guys.